Hello friends, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Today we're gonna to be talking about more tips on how to stay warm as a raw vegan in the winter. And this one's gonna be talking about warm foods. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So it is very rainy and cold here in Texas, and it keeps getting colder. Now in my daily routine, what I like to do for breakfast and for lunch most of the time is have a smoothie. And of course, in this weather, I do not want to have as cold smoothie as you probably don't either. So what do I do in this, in this situation? Well, what I like to do is I go ahead and prepare my smoothie the way I normally would, which my bananas, they're frozen, and if I put any berries, they're also frozen. So that means when I make this smoothie, it's gonna be really cold. But what I like to do in the winter is warm my smoothies. And if, in case you don't know, you can warm up your food, including your smoothies, up to 118 degrees. And if you're wondering, you know, well, how hot is that? Am I gonna kill the nutrition in that? No, you will not. But what I like to do, I don't let it warm up that hot. What I do is I make my smoothie, and then after making my smoothie, what I do is I get a pan, like a saucepan, and I put the smoothie in there, and I just, you know, warm it up. And what do I use to gauge when to stop, you know, warming it up? This, I use my finger. I just warm it to touch, you know? I put my finger in there, is it warm? If it's warm, I stop. I don't let it boil, I don't let it get too hot or anything like that because I don't want to kill any of the nutrients in the smoothie. So that's number one tip. Before we go on, I just wanted to remind you that I have a free ebook. I will put the link below in the description and you can grab your free ebook. In that free ebook, there is warm drinks that you can make for the winter. So don't forget to go down there and grab that. Okay, so now let's say for dinner. For dinner, if I'm going to make a salad, what I like to do, knowing that you know it's winter and I don't want a cold salad and that's what I'm gonna have, I like to put a lot of the vegetables in the counter and just leave them there. And some of the vegetables that you can leave on your counter and they won't go bad, you know, as long as you don't leave them there forever, but I don't, they usually don't last that long. So what I like to do is put some of those vegetables and leave them on the counter. That way they're room temperature and my salad will be room temperature. And some of those veggies that you can leave out are like bell peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, lemons, butter squash, mangoes, avocados, and so on. So, so those are some of the ones that I like to leave out in the counter because that way I know that my salad will be only room temperature. Now as far as the leaves go, like uh, you know my greens, the spinach, the kale, uh, anything, anything green, you don't want to leave out on the counter because those can get bad pretty, pretty fast. Also your berries, you know, blueberries, strawberries, all of those berries, you wanna put all of those on the refrigerator. So when you're gonna make your salad, if you're gonna use the greens, which I know you are, right? Okay, so when you're gonna use the greens, what I like to do is I like to grab a big bowl, uh, and I like to put like lukewarm water, not hot water, but lukewarm water, and I like to grab the salad that I'm gonna be using for my, you know, to make my salad. I like to put it in there and just kinda, you know, squish it around a little bit, you know, and just let it warm, warm a little bit, and that's it. You know, and then I take it out, I drain it, I strain it, I mean, and <clears throat> then I put it in a bowl and I proceed to cut, you know, my cucumbers, my tomatoes and stuff that I'm going to be putting into the salad. And that way you will have a salad that is not cold. And this will really help not to, um, not to, not to uh, make you cold because, of course, we don't want to be cold when it's cold outside. We want to be, you know, warm and fuzzy and warm inside. 
<laughs> anyway, so yeah, so this is this will really help uh, for you to have a lukewarm um, salad or room temperature salad where it's not freezing cold, and that's what I like to do. Okay, now for the dressing. For the dressing of your salad, let's just say you make the dressing like I like to do. I like to do it like the night before, or you know, I even make sometimes make dressings that last me for two to three days. So if you're like me and your dressing is in the refrigerator, what I like to do is I get out the dressing and I pour into a saucepan the amount of you know dressing that I'm going to be using, and then I do the same thing that I did with the smoothie is I warm it up to touch with my finger, you know, stick my finger in there. As soon as it's the slightest warm, I take it out. If you want your dressing to be warm. Or you can leave it out, whatever amount of dressing that you're gonna be using, like let's say for dinner, you can also, what you can do, if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna do that, you can just leave it out, you know, leave it sitting in your counter for a while for, and you know, until it's dinner, dinner time, and that way it won't be freezing cold. Or you can do what I do, which is just look warm, warm it up with, you know, putting my finger in there. When it's warm, it's warm, and I just, I, I do that, and I leave it like that. I don't do that all the time, but I do do that sometimes when it's like freezing cold and I don't want to have anything that's cold. No cold salad, no cold dressing. That's what I do. Okay, so for those of you who have a Vitamix, and again, you don't need the Vitamix, but if you do have a Vitamix, what I like to do, because sometimes for dinner, I like to have... Um, soups and what I like to do is put make my soup in the Vitamix and the Vitamix you can leave it on for about two minutes or so and it will warm up the soup and not kill any of the enzymes or any of the, the nutrition that is in your soup so if you have Vitamix you can do that and again if you don't that's fine you don't need one what you can do is use the saucepan and just warm your soup to touch you know just put your finger in there or you can, if you want to, you can even use a meat thermometer. You know, if you want it even warmer than, you know, your finger wants to touch, you can use that to monitor, to make sure that you do not kill any of the nutrients that are in that soup. Okay, another tip that I have for you is if you have a dehydrator. And again, you don't have to have a dehydrator. But if you do, one of the good things that you can do is Put, like let's just say you're making the salad, you have your salad and you want it to kind of just have it a little warm, you know, not, of course not hot. So what you can do is you can even put the whole salad, the whole salad boat in your dehydrator and just leave it there. Just leave it there for a while. Or what you can do is, is put all the veggies that you're going to be using that you, that are cold, but you want to maybe warm them up a little bit. You can put all of those in your uh, dehydrator and have them warm up or marinate you can even marinate them you know if you're going to do that and put them in the dehydrator and leave them there for a few hours and they'll be perfect for when you're ready to eat your dinner and my last tip another thing that you can do is use a warm plate what do i mean by that well sometimes i do this let's just say i'm going to um, have like maybe zoodles or something like that what i like to do is i don't warm up i don't like to warm up any of my drinks or my foods in the microwave but i do like to warm up my plate in the uh, microwave so what i do is i put the plate in the microwave and then i just warm it leave it there for you know a minute maybe and then i take it out and i put my zoodles on the plate that way, whenever I'm holding the plate, like I put it on my, sometimes I put it on my knees and I just, you know, I just eat, from, you know, I eat like that. <laughs> or, you know, just the fact of holding the plate and it's warm, not hot, don't let it burn you, be careful. But that alone also helps to warm me up. And I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoy these, enjoy these tips. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips on how to stay warm in the winter. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay notified to my next video. You, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay warm. Love you guys.